This first DIY is super simple. I'm using one of the Dollar Tree glass faces and I spray painted it black. I wanted to make a display stand for some pumpkins so I used this 11 inch wood round that's also from Dollar Tree. You will want to sand any rough spots on these, just note that. I marked the center and used some heavy duty glue as well as hot glue to attach the vase to the round. And to give the wood a more muted tone, I mixed up some acrylic paints and watered it down to make a paint wash. And this color turned out beautiful. Here it is all dry. And here it is with a few neutral pumpkins. And this is going to be a perfect accent from season to season. Now this next wood piece is not round, it's an oval, but I wanted to share it anyway because I found this for just a dollar at Walmart. I wanted to use it for a minimal fall sign, so I printed out a leaf outline from Google. This is an oak leaf and I'm going to burn it onto the wood with my new wood burning tool. So I shaded in the outline on the back side of the paper so I can trace it from the front and have the outline to follow with the wood burning tool. My first attempt was a little bit off center so I flipped it over and did it again. This is my first time using this tool so I don't know a lot about wood burning but I will say make sure you do this in a well ventilated area because of the wood smoke. Overall, using it was fairly simple though. I used one of the fine tips and traced the design like I would with a pen. Now to make this into a sign, I'm using a Dollar Tree frame. This is the largest size and this leftover velvet fabric from my headboard project. I cut the fabric to size, glued it onto the glass, and I also stained that wood piece. I put the frame back together and to add a little more detail I used this metallic wax that I recently got. It's really nice coppery color and I put that on the edge of the wood piece. Then just glued it onto the fabric and here is my super modern looking fall sign. This third Dollar Tree hack is my favorite. I'm using one of these wood rounds from Hobby Lobby and this mini glass bowl that comes in a four pack from Dollar Tree. I glued the bowl onto the wood round with the same glue combo and spray painted it in this green color. Now this is going to be a mini cloche and I'm going to use a glass Dollar Tree bowl as the lid. I wanted the bowl to be secure on top. You can see that space around the edge. So I took these small wood beads and glued them around that edge to create a border. I took two of these wood rings that I recently found at Dollar Tree to create the look of a handle on top of the bowl and I glued them in place like this. Now to fill my cloche I got these mini vase filler packs from Walmart. These are cheaper than what you would get at Dollar Tree and I used chalk paint to make the pumpkins and gourds more neutral. And I just love the look of this little piece. This is perfect for a small table or a shelf or just to create a little vignette on any surface. And you can easily customize this in any color and switch out the beads and wood rings to match your decor style. For this next project, I'm using the wood burning tool once again. 
And the idea here is to make this wood round look like the center of a sunflower. This round came in a pack of two from Hobby Lobby. And I printed this image from Google once again and did the same tracing method. Now this design is obviously a lot more detailed and took a lot longer and I did want to show you how this process looks in real time. So I went along and did all the lines of this intricate little pattern and once I was all done with that I used a rounded tip to create these dots around the edge and give it more of a sunflower look. Now to make the sunflower petals I'm using floral mesh. This yellow roll is from Hobby Lobby but you can find yellow mesh at Dollar Tree. I cut an 8 inch piece and gathered it at a diagonal as you see here. Then I pinched it together, twisted a few times before folding it unevenly to get the look of two petals. And to secure it onto the wood round, I used my staple gun. Now here it is with all the yellow petals, but I wanted to give a little more depth and interest to this piece, so I used some green mesh as well. And this roll is from Dollar Tree. With this one, I cut a slightly smaller piece and I kind of rolled it instead of pinching to get a almost cone shape look that you see here. And again, I stapled this onto the back. Now to hang this, I braided some jute cord together and stapled that on and cut a little piece of fabric to cover up all those staples and prevent scratches on my door. And I just love the contrast and color on my red door and it's giving just enough fall while it's still <laughs> super hot here in Tennessee. This last project is not really a Dollar Tree hack, but I am using some Dollar Tree florals and I think you can create this using some Dollar Tree products. Now this is the second wood round in that two pack and an older one of my upcycle projects which I took and just glued onto the bottom or the top really using that uh, power tack glue once again. And then I spray painted it black and I'm making a small floral centerpiece so I glued on this floral foam from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this assortment of floral picks for the arrangement. Now there isn't much more to this but to cut down all the stems and push each one into the foam but I want to know in the comments if you can relate to why I'm making this. My kids are not babies, but I cannot put anything breakable on the coffee table. There is always an accident, and I finally learned my lesson. So this centerpiece is meant to be reused from season to season. I can easily replace all the florals, and if this happens to fall over, no biggie. So let me know in the comments if you can relate. But I am just loving these muted brown tones and yellows this fall and those mini Dollar Tree pumpkins are the perfect accent. Comment your favorite Dollar Tree hack and let me know if you'll be recreating any of these fall projects. Most of these Dollar Tree products I used can be found in stores year-round, so you can definitely do these beyond the fall season. Like and share if you enjoyed this, and as always, thanks for watching!